Have you ever imagined a leg? Capacity or lack ferry. Once we see that all of the teaching problems have been solved, meaning that what we're committing to is that we want to take their fleet from 14 and to wrap it up to about 30 in a very short while. This, we believe, will solve further transportation problems for our people. This, we believe, will solve unemployment for our people. This, we believe, will ease the movement of Lagosians from various parts of the city to all the other places they want to go to. And it is a demonstration of our commitment in resolving traffic management and transportation in Lagos State. In Lagos, where someone who lives in a suburban residential area in Ikorodu and works off Bodilon Road, Ikoi, Lagos, need only go a short distance from their home to access a public transport bus to the ferry terminal at Ebute or Jo for their onward journey to the ferry terminal at Five Cowries from where they can then access one of the new fleets of Lagos State FLM buses which will take them to the streets of the main thoroughfare of Bodilon Road. I draw ferry always both in the morning and the afternoon. I can see me having my own personal life jacket and it's a good experience. It's safe, shorter, and it preserves one's lifespan. I learned about uh, the five carry fleet uh, terminal. I wanted to come and experience how it has relieved the heavy traffic that was actually facing us that normally comes or walk on the island most of the time and uh, uh, we have noticed the relief it has brought. I have been applying on this water for over three years now. Here to Acha, from Acha to Ikorodu. Precisely each other here. In the way um, the managers are doing, I will repeat it again, they are trying. Or a Lagos where someone who lives in a suburban area on the mile two axis of Lagos mainland and has a business meeting at Marina on Lagos Island, Lagos, need only go a short distance from their home to access a public transport bus to the mile two train station and then in less than 20 minutes, he is at the Marina station to board a lag ride to his destination. What we see here is that Lagos is moving away from the era of rickety Kabu Kabu to taxis that you are not sure if it's going to take you to destination, to brand new, comfortable, well thought out, safe, secure transportation vehicles. We're happy this is the last in the series. The government has provided high capacity buses, the government has provided medium capacity buses, the government has provided last mile buses, now the government is providing taxi scheme to cater for the entire spectrum of our transportation agenda under the team's agenda. And it is our hope that in many holdings we are key the vision of the Nakurai project, burning and it is a step closer to achieving the urbanization goal of the cities. Through the support of amiable ESCO members, the action and vision our dear governor has brought the real change to the good people of Lagos State. By recognizing that 
It is citizen deserve better to better than Tokumbo for commuting. It is a step forward achieving true economic progressions. The new economy we craft is not so far fetched. We only need to accept the change and do away with second hand economy such as automobile and other electronics. This blue line here, the first rail system by a subnational in Africa with a sea crossing. Mr. President, you will cross sea with this rail track. You know, it's a testament that indeed the dark days of oppression are behind us as a government. And what you'll be commissioning today is the first phase between Marina here to Kokomaiko. And we will sign you know, the phase two in another few minutes um, from now. This phase one, like Mr. Deputy Governor said, has five stations. From here in Marina, it goes to National Theatre, Igombun Station, Alaba Station, Orile Station, and Maltu Station. They're expected to cover just less than 15 minutes as compared to a journey time that hitherto will take about an hour and a half to two hours. The benefits, Mr. President, are obvious. It will reduce travel time. It will improve the quality of life of our citizens and you make Lagos one of the most resilient mega city, not only in Africa, but it will compete with other mega cities in the world. And this blue line system will be powered end to end by an high voltage electricity to be supplied by a dedicated independent power, as well as a backup system that means that the operation of this line will have zero carbon emission impact on the environment. This iconic marina station that we're hosting here today will be the largest and the busiest in Africa. It has the capacity to process about 400 to 450 passengers every one minute.
taxi, on the lag ferry, on the last mile. Buses are domesticated and they were developed by young under 30, under 35 Nigerian Lagosians, and it is working and it is working well. The carry card has had over a million download, is being utilized by over a million passengers already in Lagos. And you can see that us as a government is to ensure that this youth, these young dynamic Nigerians can compete with anyone in any part of the world. This removes the need for middlemen such as conductors, louds, popularly called Agbiru, by making payment for rides completely digital. All you need to do is tap your cards or scan your app to pay for rides. This makes the entire process completely contactless. Well, I'm a regular BRT taking. I used to take BRT, it's very fast and reliable and it's safer. But to the best of my knowledge, it's not the fastest and the safest to take. Best way of transportation, they go sit for now. In fact, I think it should be one of the best. I had to trek from a very long distance to this direction because I needed to take um, the BRT because of the comfort. The comfort is just, is just too unique to the best of my ability. The comfort is, is just too unique. My friend has never done it before, but I had to convince him, like, let's try it today and see. So we had to trek from that direction to this direction, and in fact... Good job.